Welcome to a Flossom 20 with Lucy. Hope everyone had a great week this week. It's Friday. Yay. So we're just going to wrap up stress, finding purpose, saying no, building your courage to say no, and going into habit changing. What habits do we need to change in our lives? As mentioned on this quote, do not boast on yourself, but rather be thankful of your success without letting everyone know. Are you a person who has to broadcast your accomplishments? Are you someone that tells everyone what happens and when it happened and how it happened? This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but one thing to keep in mind, we don't want to boast or brag on ourselves, but rather be sensitive to that other person. Whoever you're talking to, confide, confiding into, or just simply having a conversation with, take into account what type of mood or background does that other person have? Could they possibly be going through a hard time in life and you um, coming across as if you're bragging about yourself will deter them? Now, this doesn't so much mean that you need to dim your light for others. No way. What this means is just that you're not being arrogant you're not, um, so you're talking without the arrogance. Um, being arrogant is knowing that you're better than this person and you're like literally looking down to them. So we want to do the opposite. Humbleness um, also brings peace into your life. So, you know, when you're talking to people, you don't necessarily want to look down on them as they as if they're inferior to you an example right. of being humble is when you're putting your needs to the side for someone else you're not boasting or bragging about your accomplishments your status and your wealth it's a way of showing respect of others right you are not showing that you're proud. You're not being rude. Because you're allowing the other person to be courteous and kind, even, you know, in the most trying circumstances. Not being vain, meaning you are not boasting on yourself. Um, you're doing the total opposite of that. So we talked about saying no. Yes, we say yes instead of saying no to accommodate someone. In this sense, if you want to help others, that is when you would put your needs Great example to the side of being humble, um, being a parent while you're cleaning, looking after that child. Um, for years at a time, putting yourself to the side, changing diapers, wiping noses, you know, just meeting their every needs for years. Um, another example would be like um, when you're at the grocery store and you see that someone only has a couple items, you're letting them go ahead of you in line. Um, awesome. Today is your day. And it will be wonderful because you are a part of this day. I like that quote. I shared that quote because I believe in making your life what you want your life to be. Each day you wake up is an opportunity to become a new and better person. How I think of it is every day is a new start 
every day could be the first day of the rest of your life. However you want to think about that, you matter. So you are needed. So know that. Have you ever just felt as if you were pointless, like it was pointless to be here um, because you don't feel like you're serving a purpose? That's okay because as I'm encouraging you to do that self-inventory, to renew your vision, your aspirations. Another, another example of that could be um, doing your affirmations, like having your affirmations posted in your house, um, in those common areas where you're at a lot. Um, that's a way to um, definitely lift your confidence. Confidence is a, is a big thing with self-love. Know that you are worthy of love. You have a heartbeat. You have a soul. You are worth it. Be confused sometimes. That is fine. But it gives you an opportunity to learn some new things. Right? Go for what your heart desires. What does your heart desire? What do you enjoy in life? What is your destiny? What does your heart desire? I desire a sense of peace. I desire transparency. I desire to feel happy throughout connections with other people or I desire to be loved. I desire to be free from pain. I desire to live a stress-free life. Write down those desires in your life. Those are your motivation, your, your, your guidance in life, your things that are going to keep you determined um, to not give up on yourself. I'm sure you have others around you who need you. So just having respect for yourself and others, follow those desires. Say yes to you. I believe by following what your heart desires is saying yes to yourself and you're giving yourself power. You're, you have the control to change those things or to just reflect on those things that, you know, that your heart desires. Check yourself and be okay with making changes. Are you okay with making changes in your life? And what changes do you need to make in your life? Okay, because life is something that we want to, you know, live a meaningful life, a fulfilled life. If we're missing something in life, I believe that's when we begin to be stressed out. Your self-confidence is one. Self-image, your self-esteem is another. Your attitude, checking that attitude and changing that attitude is a big one. As simple as showing gratitude and appreciation is a great way of showing love to others. Change your motivation. If it's not working for you and hasn't worked for you, let's change your motivation. Change what's going to keep you motivated. Changing your commitments. Are you overwhelmed or overbooked or just too busy? Are you surrounded by people 
who do not share the same interests or likes of you. Change your friends. Change your environment. Do you feel as though hmm, people do not understand what you're trying to say as if you were misunderstood? You can change the methods of how you're saying these things or, you know, just changing your input like on what you're saying, like change what you're saying or how you're saying it. Now, I'm not saying we need to change for everyone, but just doing that self-inventory, look within yourself, and be okay with making those changes. We all have a sense of hesitancy when change comes about. Just know, this world is forever changing. So we might as well go ahead and change with it, right? Because it's going to change without us. <laughs> One thing that I can think of in mind is the computers. Um, when the internet came out in the mid-90s, boy, were we nervous about that. And that was being a teenager, okay, when I was a teenager. Now today, the way that computers and mobile applications, cell phones and laptops and so on, this is our future. So... You have to get with change, right? If you don't get with that change, you're going to be left behind. So being open to make changes within your life, that's a first, that's a good start. And if you want to make a change in your life, will it be easy? What do you want to change in your life, first of all? And will it be an easy change? What could possibly stop you from making this change? What do you need to avoid in order for this change to happen? What are three things you want to change about yourself? Write those three things down and let that be your guide. So yes, finding purpose is definitely soul searching and let that be your guide, okay? Everything in life has a positive meaning. Search for it. When I say this, I say this because Things happen in life. Yeah, it's very detrimental at times. It's stressful. It throws you off guard, right? But everything that you've went through and that you're going through right now at this very moment, there is a positive meaning from it. There's something positive within that negative. So you have to find that positive. Like, just look for it. Um... Yeah, I know, easier said than done, right? But searching for something positive in your life, you're going to live a happier life. Changing those negative thoughts into positive thoughts, that's going to be a great way to manage your anxiety, um, build your confidence, and just, just to become healthier and happier. Having that healthy mindset that happiness um, definitely um, comes from being positive. So if you're feeling bad, if you're feeling negative, um, just looking for those positive attributes about what is going on or what happened, you know, whatever the current situation is, um, just be mindful of that. Exercise this on a daily basis. You know, when different things happen, just look at it, right? Stress, anxiety, anger, worrying, um, those type of things. 
reflect in a positive manner on those negatives and then see how you feel after that, right? Um, someone told me um, once, they're like, well, do you have a bank of of positive words or positive phrases because you always have something positive to say. I have something positive to say in any situation because I lived my life in my 20s all negative. It was so cloudy, just not understanding what was going on at any given moment, right? Um, trying to figure life out. Um, I struggled a lot just making bills and making sure we had food and nursing school. So it was a, it was a, it was a big balance for me. Um, there was some point where I said, no more. I'm not going to stress anymore and I'm not going to be the victim anymore. Which brings us to embrace your flaws and let them be your strength. A flossom 20 with Lucy just means we're talking about those things that we generally wouldn't talk about. We hide and say, I'm okay, I'm doing fine. Well, I'll figure it out tomorrow. That type of attitude. I'm motivating you today to embrace whatever you're falling short of, whatever you're confused about or cloudy about, Embrace that. Embrace those things and focus on those things. I've said it before, focusing on your weaknesses to turn them into strengths. One of my weaknesses has, has always been I'm not an assertive person. I'm just, I just, growing up, I just wasn't. I wasn't. I just went with the flow. I was that person who accommodated to everyone. I didn't want to disappoint anyone. I wanted everyone to be happy, right? Well, there comes a point in your life where you have got to say yes to yourself and empower yourself to put yourself first. So embracing those flaws and knowing that you're awesome regardless is the definition of flawsom. But I changed that up a little bit. You know, you want to embrace those flaws, yes, but you want those flaws to become your strength. Don't let those flaws deter you or reduce your confidence and your self-esteem within your own being. It's okay if you are not perfect. No one here on earth is perfect. But as long as you're awesome, you have no worries. Um, stay awesome, you know? Awesome, just meaning that you know that you're not perfect, but you're going to be happy regardless. You're going to be strong regardless. You're going to be motivated regardless, right? You're going to take care of yourself regardless. Putting yourself first. Saying no. Embracing your flaws. So today, make changes. Increase your life. Increase the peace in your life. You are in control. Say no. Try it. Practice it. Say no out loud. No. But tell yourself yes. Tell yourself yes about something. Something that you would generally say no to yourself about. Like that bowl of ice cream or that new pair of shoes, or that new bag, or getting a massage. Say yes to yourself this week about something. Finding purpose in life, saying no, and balancing your stress will definitely empower you, keep you strong, and keep you flossom. So stay flossom. Holler at you, girl.